So here I'm going to show you how you can edit uh, images and make cool quotable pictures and things like that to put onto Facebook or onto your blog and it's without using Photoshop. So there's a nifty little tool called Pixlr. I don't know if that's how you say it right, but that's how I'm going to say it. And uh, if you come to their homepage, all you need to do is click on advanced and it will open up this little program that looks kind of like Photoshop actually, but of course with more limitations. So I'm going to show you how to make um, a cool graphic to put onto your Facebook page and then I'm going to show you how to brand some of your images with text as well. So if you want to do something for Facebook, a good size is 600 by 600 and I'm going to click transparent. Um, I'm going to call this Facebook template. Now what you might like to do is create a template like this so that you start to get the same look and feel um, for your branding that's coming through from your website onto Facebook as well. So everything looks nice and cool and well branded. So if you create the template like this, then as you see, like we've got a file with nothing there. So I'm going to start by putting in my company's name, which is media and just try and pull this up here so you can see that you've got um, lots of different fonts to choose from here and actually it's plugged into the Google fonts API so it means that all the Google fonts well not all of them but some of them are there and if we have a look we'll see if we have Oswald which is what I'm using on my branding currently And I know it's there because I saw it a few minutes ago. Now let's see. Oh, curses. Okay. Now that was excruciating to watch. I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> so um, we'll just make it a bit bigger. Yep. Give it a nice pinky color like with my brand. It's nice and warm pink like that. Okay. So... Now that's not technically my logo, but that's going to do for the purposes of this demonstration. So you've got this little um, container here that's got lots of different tools on it. And the one that I just clicked now will allow me to move my text. And when we look at programs like this one or like Photoshop, everything is put into layers. So you need to click on the layer to be able to move it around. So I'm going to put that <clears throat> just here for the moment and now if you know anything about my brand I like to use patterns so I'm going to open up one of those now you go to file open image and you could essentially do this with any uh, kind of image so the same goes for a photo as well so it doesn't have to be a pattern and let's take this one for now so what we do is it's opened up in a new window. Now the easiest way to get it over here is to click and drag it over and you'll see that it's come up in front of the text that I just put on so that's just a matter of clicking and dragging as well. Now if I just can fix it up a little bit so that nothing's on the edge, it's pretty clean. Okay now next I might add some more text. So I'm going to make this into a if I could spell tutorial. There we go. I'm going to change the color so it's my orange for my brand. And as you can see here, um, you can actually put in the RGB or the hex code there. So I'm not doing that at the moment, which is very bad, but of course, because you are keeping your brand spot on you will be doing that there we go looking good now I might just take that a little bit smaller create a little bit of yeah distinction between the two and I can move that around Oop, media tutorial and then this tutorial is called how to edit images with Free. 
All right. Now you'll see we don't have a lot of options here with the text, so it is left aligning everything. Um, if I just click OK, you'll see what I mean if I drag that out. So because this is centered here, what we really want to do is have that centered as well. So what I'm going to do is first of all make it smaller like that and then I'm going to bring that line up and I might make that whole line a bit smaller so if it's on the one line, yep, cool move that so it's centered better and then I'll put another little bit of text underneath which is aka why I love pixeler.com and I'm going to change that color to my lovely yellow which is more like here and that looks like it there so I'm going to just go with that for now press OK and as you can see we're getting together a little bit of text here now what you could actually have of course is a quote um, a testimonial would also be another good thing to use with this and I'm going to click back on to how to edit images with a free like that and go back to the pink now if you've already used images and you want to use the same image it's just a matter of taking the little color dropper there and picking it up and going okay so that is how you create a nice text based image like that all you need to do now is to go up to file and you want to save it and it gives you some different format options here now most of the time you should use JPEG if you've got a transparent uh, background you should use a PNG file or if you are going to come back to this and use it later use this one PXD file and that's what I'm going to use because I'm going to put this up as a template that you can download so I'm just going to save it onto, let's put it onto my documents press save and there we go and so in the next video I'm going to show you how to do some funky tricks with some photographs and create a photo based template for branding all of your photos so I'll see you soon